Okay, hi there. Welcome to a short series of videos uh, thinking about the, the, the really key topic of economic growth. Short video to start with looking at the definition and the measurement of growth. Uh, so what is economic growth? Well, to an economist, growth is defined as the increase in the real value of the goods and services produced within an economy. The goods, the manufactured goods, the LCD screens, the smartphones and the services from health to travel to tourism and education and much else besides. And growth is nearly always defined as the annual percentage increase in a country's real GDP. Real, of course, means adjusted for the effects of inflation. Now, this is the economic cycle chart for the UK economy from 2007 all the way through to the autumn of 2021. And there's much here of interest, of course, is an index of GDP. It's not measured in billions of pounds. It's an index uh, with the base year of 2019. And constant prices tells us that it is real GDP. We can see the recession that followed the global financial crisis. GDP in the UK fell by just over uh, 4.5%. As you can see, it took uh, quite a long time, in fact, all the way through to 2012 before GDP had recovered the lost ground. But then there was a period of a fairly steady, albeit relatively slow growth through to 2019 before the economy got hit by the, the COVID pandemic and the lockdown measures and the collapse in, in trade, travel and tourism and much else besides. In just one year, the economy lost 10% of GDP, clearly the deepest recession we've had for hundreds of years. Now, we're seeing a rebound in GDP and indeed, as I speak in January 2022, the level of GDP in the UK economy has just dipped above where it was before the pandemic. Although they have the economy kept growing, it would have been higher than that. There's the figures for the UK from 2016 through to 2022. The next, the last two years on the chart are both forecasts. We don't have the full data. Growth before the pandemic was fairly slow, below 2%, in fact. Then the collapse in output, and then two years of relatively strong growth. The world economy the global economy, well, it normally grows by about three, three and a half, sometimes four percent per year. And that's a key figure to keep in mind. The world economy normally grows every year by at least three uh, percent. And it was doing uh, prior to the pandemic. But then we see the impact of COVID with a fall in GDP of three percent, albeit followed by two years of recovery. Although even though the world was in recession, some countries continued to grow. Guinea, Ethiopia and Ireland topped the countries with the fastest growth in 2020. Bangladesh is in there, Niger, Tajikistan, Tanzania. China just scrapes in to this list of the fastest growing countries, 2.3%. Although by Chinese standards, of course, 2.5% growth is anemic at best, well below the growth they've been used to experiencing over the last 30 years. One measure of lost growth is by how much would G how much have you lost in terms of GDP share of GDP because of the because of the pandemic. If you look to the right hand side, the world economy in twenty twenty is estimated to have lost six point seven percent. Think about it: the world normally grows at three point five percent, but in fact output fell by three point two percent, which means a six point seven percent loss of GDP. Low income countries actually lost relatively less of their GDP than advanced countries. Now, you can make a really important distinction between short-term and long-run growth. And we're going to focus on both of these in separate videos. So short-term growth is cyclical. Um, it's a, the growth of demand, often driven by aggregate demand, which leads to an actual rise in the output of goods and services. Whereas long-run growth is driven by a sustained increase in aggregate supply, productive potential. And that's a very important distinction to make. We'll be doing that when we look at the next videos, which look at short term factors for growth and long term factors. OK, thank you very much indeed.